नमस्ते दीपिता जी अभी रोड़ी हवा पे मॉडल टीवी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी मिला दी थी नमस्ते टू ऑल या दीदी आई विल ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस यू एंड देन यू कैन प्लेस योर शेयरिंग विद इन 20 मिनट्स एज़ वी हैव टू शेयरिंग एंड वी कैन कंफाइन आवर शेयरिंग्स टू 20 मिनट्स दीदी सो दीपिता नायक दीदी शी इज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश KIIT deemed to be university odisha she is connected with the usp since december 2020 so after the introductory fdp she did refresher part 1 in february 2022 and she uh, volunteer for online fdps and sips um, sips in the evening she attend weekly and monthly meetings to enrich herself then yeah uh, she has been active in this eastern region as a volunteer so with this brief introduction i welcome ipsida naik didi for her sharing in the morning session didi over to you thank you for the introduction bhaiya i would just like to add a few more lines to that uh, about my family i stay with my husband and my mother in law Uh, i have my mother who is with my brother and my sister in law and their kids uh, now coming to the sharing part there's so many things to talk about that i have to pick and choose because uh, at every step of exercise 1 and 2 in fact with each and every the daily tasks that uh, we were doing there was some amount of uh, self discovery associated with each task uh, but due to paucity of time let me talk about a few things associated with my journey one of the earliest tasks we were given was to monitor the food intake and to observe the effect of a certain kind of food uh, on our body and mind so when it comes to food i have some good and I'm bad um, habits uh, i'm good in the sense that i don't like cold drinks and oil i prefer rather coconut drink tender coconut and oil i am not very fond of non vegetarian dishes i'm happy with the vegetarian dishes i'm not also very fond of sweets in a way uh, i have no craving for rasgulla and all the stuff but i have some terribly bad <laughs> um food habit like one of them if i could uh, mention uh, it's tea <laughs> i i used to take 8 to 10 cups of tea in fact one of the sharing of shamila didi um if you can go by the steps that are given in the screen on your screen what you can see that will be more useful oh, okay okay we can put the slide of exercise 1 perhaps yes uh, this this was uh, be, before this i guess we were given some tasks which lead to this understanding of the consciousness of uh, body and consciousness of uh, self um if i could <laughs> go as per the tasks shared that that's how i thought about it uh, yeah the main focus of the sharing is exercise 1 and 2 actually yes yes um so because there is going to be shortage of time so if you can just uh, skip the this part and come to okay. the exercises that will be more useful i was saying okay 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 yeah, yeah so um, through several like tasks and exercises uh, i was able to see that uh, i'm uh, my body and myself uh, are two entities and um, i was able to see that uh, what is naturally acceptable to me is to be in a relationship and that is the only thing that can ensure continuous happiness because other things that we uh, that i try to ensure happiness that could only ensure uh, momentary uh, satisfaction maybe but not 
lasting happiness uh, for example satiating a food craving or or going for a shopping or something you know physical facility running after that that would not ensure a uh, and happiness in continuity uh, but uh, valuing relationship having trust uh, mutual understanding uh, that can lead to real happiness that i was able to observe and um if there was harmony within uh, one of the major <laughs> discoveries was through the exercise when we were observing our thoughts and our imagination um i was shocked uh, to <laughs> observe what are the things i could be thinking and imagining at one point one of the biggest uh, achievements in the last uh, two months i should say it has been this discovery uh, that my thoughts can or my imaginations could be so negative and not quite like who the person i am if i could give an example um up uh, there is a boy in my class sort of <laughs> two three months back uh, when i used to enter the classroom the first thing i would notice uh, in my class is that sort of is glaring he is chewing something and um, mumbling something and i would imagine that uh, he is uttering abusive words slang and all uh, he may not be doing that but that's what i would imagine and i'll have all the bitter thoughts uh, as and assumptions about sort of when we closely observed uh, uh, when i closely observed my thoughts uh, i realized uh, that even before i'm entering the class just like i plan my lecture for the day there is also a separate uh, planning involved um how to oh, control sorrow or uh, what should i how should i scold uh, him this in this class so that he behaves properly so for two minutes i would spare my concern in the class and i would just scold sort of that was the scenario two three months back and it had no impact on him he was just as bad as ever so it used to infuriate me and uh, even after the class when i would come back i would still think of sorrow only not what i did how other students they, they were so well behaved cooperative and nothing else only thing that would dominate my mind is this boy and i would be like how can somebody do that to a teacher and all sorts of other thoughts very very bitter very bitter thoughts i would have like oh, we were brought up in such a way that we couldn't even look into the eyes of a teacher and here is somebody who's glaring and uh, maybe saying swear words uh, which are absolutely unacceptable so i was uh, actually suffering i was just not able to take it when i would enter and somebody would give me such negative vibes and spoil my class it didn't used to happen in the other sections such nice experience but only in this section and i would end up Uh, having headache whenever i would have class in that section so uh, when i did that exercise i thought you know uh, i have to do something about my own thoughts and imaginations why am i having all these assumptions about him and very bitter uh, assumptions i had maybe his parents uh, have not taught him anything and even worse than that all sorts of things came to my mind and then i realized what what am i doing a boy who is half my age or not even half a 43 is 20 or 21 maybe just a fresh graduate i'm having such ill thoughts about him his parentage and all those things oh, how can i think like this i was shocked to uh realize what i was thinking so i thought no it has to stop and 
the very next class when i uh, went he was the same sort of he was glaring and chewing and mumbling something or that uh, but i had better things to find in my class and was happy for that and it didn't make me angry at all what he was doing something that used to perturb me so much all of a sudden mm-hmm. it just stopped affecting me and it's not that i ignored i was watching him but nothing happened to me and i didn't shout just the way i do that day i didn't shout and never after that i just stopped that episode of my <laughs> revenge um so i felt better i felt better and gradually i also saw the less uh you know the, the kind of behavior you're showing i saw the less and less of it till one day when um, soro was there in my cabin and i was surprised that he's there he came and he apologized and he said uh, i often i i give them books as um, prizes for contests that i do um, so he said um, i would like to deserve that book you give to students um, by behaving properly in your class and doing the tasks uh, that you do and i hope some day i get that uh, book as a prize uh, so i was really touched and actually um, perhaps there was nothing wrong with him or he hadn't changed i don't know but i had changed and perhaps that had an uh, impact on him i felt uh, so i said ah sure you can get it why not uh, and after that i never saw him doing that i don't know what happened and he said uh, can i ask you something ma'am then i said yes i said uh, how come you stopped shouting at me all of a sudden and you are not getting angry with me anymore no matter what i am doing and uh, you are just not angry with me uh, what happened all of a sudden i said uh, no you was not doing the right thing maybe uh, i shouldn't be shouting at anybody in that manner the way i was shouting at you um, so what you are doing in the class you have to think deeply about it why you are doing and what i am doing in the class i have to think for myself so i just thought for myself and i changed the way i talk to you that's it so that was quite uh, relieving and one of the biggest uh, achievements of my journey in the morning sessions i would say it's that and uh, about uh, uh discovery uh, yes about trust we had enough in the introductory workshops and i believe that i have developed a right understanding of trust in uh relationship uh in, in trust doubting the intention or the difference between intention and competency those things are very clearly explained uh but still during the morning sessions through certain tasks um uh, i realized that i actually doubt uh, the intention of my family members or uh, some tasks were given like when the situation is different i also shared this in one, one of the sessions uh when the situation is different and the same person is involved we behave differently and when the situation may be the same but the person is different then also we behave differently uh, so it's not the situation or the person it's it's my own self who is taking the decision to do what i'm doing so that other orientation <clears throat> that the other person is making me behave in a certain uh, way that part also got clarified uh, and i felt i feel more accountable now for uh, my words my action my behavior so not that 
somebody did something and that is why i reacted in a certain way now i do not uh, console myself saying this uh, but uh, now i have become uh, more accountable for my behavior i should say so the decision is taken uh, by the self actually and not by the situation or the other person and there are many uh, uh, preconditionings as we made a list of preconditionings yes uh, in terms of personal life social uh, life uh, there is a cultural preconditioning I'm, i belong to a place called uh, katak and it is um, believe that the katkias they begin their day with uh, dahi vada alu they say karad Uh, Tara Bhai knows this. <laughs> so this is a place of snacks and uh, all the food items. As I said, I, although I'm not um, fond of non-vegetarian food and sweets and all, I'm very fond of fried uh, um, you know, items, vadas and all. And I believe that because I'm from Katak, it's it's obviously it's there in my culture to be fond of. uh these things and it's suitable for the kind of people we are but that's just a cultural reconditioning and i can see that it has very bad impact on my body that must be which must be nurtured and um the way i'm snacking around and having tea chocolate i'm actually uh, affecting my own health which is not desirable it cannot it's not acceptable i mean it's not naturally acceptable to me or not uh, aligned with my natural acceptance so it's just a sensation that oh, i have fancy for and it, i give in to that sensation uh, which ultimately creates trouble for my body oh i am i am a gastritis patient so i i shouldn't be taking all that still that craving is there and i go go for it so when we um did the exercise observe your body and um to be aware of the movement or the effect on the body so that was when i could uh, sacrifice some of my cravings uh, for i have completely done away with uh, chocolate i used to be taking chocolate like like snacks sometimes taking chocolate like meals of the day i have completely done away with it and tea i have reduced and all these junk snacks and all i'm working on that to reduce uh i have seen that uh, when i'm working on my relationships in my own home it's not that people are changing or um uh, things are essentially uh, changing for the better but i um, my life is becoming easy it's it's less difficult for me that i can see oh uh, for example uh, just a few days back 7 to 8 days back um uh, actually my the washing machine had had broken down and it did, needed to be repaired so i had um been in touch with some mechanic you know mechanics so they should have come and done it on a holiday but they didn't and the next day was my working day i went there so around 6:30 in the evening they had come i normally reach by 7:30 they had come by around 6:30 without calling me and they they were um uh, there so when i came around 7:30 um my husband was furious like and uh, so he went on in his way like Uh, all those bad words and all it might happen in your home it doesn't happen in our home we don't have two strange men in the home 
um, just an old woman is there. You should be sensible and all that. Uh, I said, they haven't called me. And what kind of people do you contact who do not even call you and enter our home? So I, I, I didn't lose my temper. I didn't even feel, was, wasn't even feeling um, angry at that moment, but I just said that. But why did Ma open the locks for them? Because we have a door, and after that, we have the grill that is locked. Unless somebody opens the lock, nobody can enter our house. She could have just said that we are not there in the house, and they would have left. But nothing worked, and oh, don't blame others for your uh, uh, mistakes and all, and all. And it just went on. So. What I achieved in all these days that earlier I used to feel infuriated when such a thing used to happen and I used to react immediately. So I would also shout and say, um, how, how is this a mistake and all that? And you go on the argument. But I didn't feel the necessity of doing that. And there was absolutely zero anger on my part. But but I couldn't help tears because all those abusive words and all. I thought I don't, I don't deserve it. So I, I couldn't help tears, and that is my limitation. That is what I'm working on. Uh, I have been able to only overcome my anger in all these days, but not the sadness that is deep inside. So for that, I need to work on further on myself. Uh, and I know that. No, he's not like that, and he'll forget in just ten minutes. He would forget what he said. Actually, he had been uh, undergoing treatments. He ha he he used to go undergo psychiatric treatments before my marriage. I didn't know that uh, because his public self is absolutely you know, gentle and polite and completely adorable. But uh, the private self sometimes he has those attacks and. What he says in his fury, he himself doesn't know. And I know he would simply forget what he said after 10 minutes. And that's exactly what happened. So he forgot and it was everything is normal. The next day, he would hardly remember what happened to previous. But at that moment, when somebody abuses for nothing, that really saddens. But it shouldn't. I know it shouldn't. When I know that he has certain, uh, you know, lack in his competency, it should not affect me at all. And why do I become even sad? If not angry, why not just be neutral? But I'm still working on it. And in Mr. the... Didi, so we have a uh, time limitation. Um, yes. So I request you to... Um, Complete your sharing within a couple yeah. of minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have also tried to share this uh, UHV proposal with others. And in the days to come, uh, I want to be more closely associated with my UHV family. My UHV family knows me more closely than my own uh, friends and family members. So I would uh, try and contribute more and more time in the days to come, which I'm not doing at this moment. I feel like attending every single meeting, every single workshop from beginning to the end, which is not happening. And I would try to increase the number of hours I'm putting now, definitely. And I've also started sharing this proposal uh, in my, at least in personal life with friends and family members. I can see that they have been benefited uh, with that. So I would try to continue doing that as well. Um, Bhaiya, anything else I missed uh, that I should have mentioned? Yeah, Didi. Um, on these indicators, you have shared your brief introduction, but regarding the um, how many steps you could uh, um, understand, access so, one and two. I think it's okay, Sunil ji. Um, ji. ji. Some of the things, I think it's okay. Uh, in the interest of time also, we will, I think, uh, we have another sharing. So, uh, yeah. you can... so Sundar, over to you for your comments and remarks. Yeah. Ji. So, Namaste, Ipsita Ji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. 
So this is the first time you're attending the morning session, right? No, Didi. Uh, how many times have you attended? Uh, I don't remember, but many a sessions. No, no, meaning this from this beginning of the eighth batch till now you have attended. Have you attended seventh or sixth batch also? No, no, no. Only in the eighth. This is the first batch yeah. I enrolled. Yeah. yeah. And the workshop that you have done before this? Uh, there, there was an introductory workshop in 2020, yes. Didi, December 2020. Uh -huh. And after that, in 2022, I in the February month, I did the refresher. But I just remain there as a volunteer and keep listening to the content. So what we call the UHV2 workshop, is that what you attended or the SIP? No, I, UHV2, I have not. I have uh, there. I've been there as a volunteer, but I have not been there as a participant for UHV2. Okay. So a couple of things. I think that um, the gap, a little bit of gap is there. So I think that's because you weren't able to attend the UHV2. But I can see very clearly that you have been able to work on yourself regarding the feeling of trust. And those two incidents that you shared, they will be extremely useful for many of the participants who will be able to relate to that. And I think that the first step of your journey has already begun. The most important, <clears throat> what we call, you know, observe the imagination. So you have started observing. And I would like to ask you, how did you feel inside when you could see your thoughts? Those first bitter thoughts you are talking about, Didi? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you could see. Yes, uh, the first thing I noticed is that I am thinking so much and I was not aware that I'm, I was thinking so much. All Very the time, something or the other that is going on in my head. And mm -hmm. I don't even notice them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I started noticing them. Really. Very nice. See, yeah. um, what you mentioned regarding um, the student. Yeah? And how the student started responding to you when you changed. Yes. Now, if you notice, you mentioned that you felt much better you yes. you i think you even mentioned that you felt better inside even before he changed is that right correct correct he was yeah. he, he was going the same way no change at all but still i felt relaxed yeah so this what you felt relaxed this is what we are referring to as the feeling can you notice that you, yes. you yourself feel comfortable? So this talk that we are doing, you know, step one, observe your imagination, observe the feeling within. So many people are not able to connect with that, you know, that I am not able to see the feeling. But you will feel that. So yes. you will notice it. So when mm -hmm. you yourself had the right feeling for the other, even though the other had not changed, you felt calm. Yeah. So this uh, you were able to notice. And I think from here you can see that when you are observing yourself inside and you are able to see the feeling inside, that makes all the difference. Because now you are able to see what has been going on inside that you were not aware of. And perhaps shouting and getting, like you said, suffering. So that yeah. suffering comes down because right. you're able to see this, that, you know, you can have, you can, like you said, the decision is all yours. Yes. This is, uh, you know, the, the journey has begun. I would say a couple of things, even, um, you know, uh, with your husband, the incident that you shared. Yes. The tears, now, this is, again, a reaction within and you will notice we can talk about it you know outside this forum because of lack of time GDT, that would be better okay so um 
this what we call you know people refer to it like this magic starts happening that once you change the others will slowly start changing you could observe it with the student slowly as you stay with your definite behavior that response you might start seeing in the family members also may take little more time but slowly it will happen but i just wanted to congratulate you that you know why i asked you to stop in the beginning was because whatever we do outside with the body with the food all of that is the decision is being taken at the level of the self so yes. ultimately that was of importance i wanted you to express that rather than these you know habits outside or the decisions mm -hmm. because of which we are instructing the body so uh, very nice very beautiful i would suggest whenever time permits please do go through the uhv2 workshop that will be extremely Thank useful you. and in the next yes. round of uh, the exercises yes. try and see if you can do more and more steps as we go along the first time it's little difficult but you have been able to catch that uh, mm -hmm. the crux of the thing so now it should be easier for you to go through all the very best thank you diti much gratitude thank you so much